It's now a Falcon. Patriots getting a third round pick in return. Judon will immediately help the Falcons who last year had only 42 sacks. Only 10 teams had fewer. Here's Raheem Morris. Anytime you can add um, a dog, uh, really, to your group and have them be able to come and be a part of that, that is exciting. Um, I think we have excitement for that. I think he has excitement for that. I think um, a couple of our players that actually know him personally have excitement for that. Um, his reputation precedes himself. Yeah. He's awesome, that's why. Uh, other news <laughs> is that uh, the Falcons signed Justin Simmons today, one year, $8 million yeah. deal. So that's two pretty big ads for the defense. Uh, are we starting to believe Atlanta's going for it, Greg? Uh, they're trying. They're definitely trying to win that division. I believe that they will win that division. Obviously, Raheem Morris, the defensive coordinator, defensive side of the ball, he's going to focus on bolstering that side of the ball. That's what he's doing. Obviously, getting Judon, you mentioned it yesterday, I think, in break or something. He's, he's a player. Like, he is one of those guys. I and mean, he doesn't get enough credit because we didn't see him last year because of the injury. But for me, this is about their offense and what it's going to look like. You kind of alluded to this at some point, maybe yesterday or whenever we were talking. Um, we don't know about Kyle Pitts because we haven't seen that Florida – Gator version yep. of Kyle Pitts yep. in the National Football League. Drake London, we don't know about Drake London because we haven't seen that USC version in the National Football League due to quarterback play. So I, I do believe they have an upgrade at quarterback, clearly, with Kirk Cousins and even Michael Penix Jr. B. John Robinson, we know what he's going to be able to do. So it's a matter of what they look like offensively and how can they complement one another. But when, you, when you're putting together a team, you're going to have to learn how to win especially in, in win late games and close games. And, Coach, you can speak to this. That will be their biggest hurdle. It's kind of how I felt about the Packers last year. I felt like they were going to be, like, go through some woes, but they were going to have to figure out how to win mm. with Jordan Love at quarterback. That's going to be the case with this Atlanta Falcons team and Kirk Cousins at the, at the helm. Yeah, I've actually liked Atlanta the last couple of years, and, and I, I thought that they would win the division. I, I think they're going to win the division this year, and I think that uh, – when you look at them offensively, they've got six number ones on offense, and that's without Kirk Cousins. Okay, so there's six n number ones. Does on, it include uh, Penix, who won't play? It doesn't include <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. So then six, that's fair. Six that's, number ones yeah. starting on the offensive yeah. side, including three on the offensive line. They run the ball pretty effectively over time. Mm -hmm. Bijan, I think, had 4.6 yards was great. last season. So you've got that aspect to it. And, and with adding a guy like Matthew Judon at this point in the season, assuming he's healthy, he, he is a guy that can ruin a game. And we saw him ruin games for other people when he was in New England, and he has that kind of, that kind of impact. And he also seems like he's a pretty good guy. Yeah. So you had a veteran presence who, who, who's excited to be there, who has a chance to impact a, a defense that, that, to me, has been competitive a lot of times and a division that, that hasn't been very competitive. So, so this, this team should be very good, very competitive, and make a lot of noise this season. All right, so two points. First one is this allows them the, – the, one of the reasons people were so – if they were critical of the Penix pick was because they wanted them to take an edge rusher at eight because this team had no edge rushers to speak of. Now, long term, whoever you took at eight as an edge rusher would have more upside than 32-year-old Matthew Judon. But for this season – if, I would imagine Judon is a better player than whomever they were going to take at eight. So it kind of allows you to, I don't want to say make up for the mistake of Penix, because I'm not saying that was a mistake, it was a choice. But the big criticism of that was you had top ten pick, and no one, he's not going to play this year. But it was because it was a long-term thing. So for Atlanta, that is very, opt you know what I mean? It, it fills in that hole for this season very, very well. My takeaway was different, though. Because my takeaway is about the deal the Patriots turned down. And so can we show the quote from Phil Perry's article? Because I find it interesting. There were several teams interested in acquiring the third two-year-old, including, to league sources, the Bears, whose desire for a pass rusher led them to offer a third-round selection of their own. The Patriots opted for the Atlanta pick, which is a third-round selection, no conditions, now in nine choices, 2025 draft. You just said the Falcons are going to win the division. You just said the Falcons are going to win the division. You think the Patriots believe in the Bears? Well... What I know is this. The Patriots said you can have the Bears' third-round pick or Atlanta's third-round pick. And they said, we think Atlanta's going to have the better pick. 
Well, the, so what pa I, the Patriots have been making a lot of good decisions. Okay, well, may, listen. Off, <laughs> I would go based off that that, I, uh, that they geez, probably nailed the, it. Okay, well, no, listen. Maybe they're maybe they're wrong, but yeah. I did find that interesting. That it's that they had the exact same offer from two teams. One of those teams is the Vegas favorite to make the playoffs, and and that means host a playoff game, mm -hmm. winning that division. And the Patriots said, "Yeah, we still think that pick is going to be better than Chicago's." The, and, the only thing I would put a caveat on here, and I don't, I, yeah. again, I'm just, it's yeah, an imagination sure. take. Are they doing right by Judon? Do they give those to Judon and be like, hey, you know what? You were here. You're a great Patriot. Oh, maybe. Do you, do you, we, we basically have the same offer here. So, uh, like, I mean, I guess that's on the board. Falcons are the, there. And maybe, and the Falcons, there's, you know, warm weather, if you care about that. Maybe it's a fun, more fun city. Yeah, I don't maybe, know. Maybe Judon said he didn't want to go to Chicago. The, no, the, that's, that's yeah. the other if, if that's maybe the Judon case. wanted to stay with the Patriots. Like he tweeted, could you fail a physical? Well, yeah. from well they don't have heart. salary caps. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. We have $50 million. <laughs> I know. Well, are we talking <laughs> no. about Patriots here? What are we doing with $50 million? Next.